here's the deal. Rondo Moore, weirdest reception perception profile I've ever charted. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's worth repeating. I, it's worth repeating because it's so bizarre. Rondo Moore last year in reception perception, 29.9% of his sampled routes were screens. That's the most in RP history by a country mile. The previous high mark was Debo Samuel at 18.1% in that weird 2020 injury ruin season that I've said a hundred times. I wish I just thrown in the trash and looked more at what he was as a rookie. The next highest after those two guys is Albert Wilson at 14.8% in a partial sample. That's bird still alert. like a fit bird alert, baby. Yeah. Si- sound the sirens. That's, but that's still like a 50% drop off from what Rondell Moore did last year, ran against zone coverage on 89% of his routes. It's super rare to see a guy in RP be at 70 plus percent you know we're talking like historical outliers by 10 percentage here it was in the backfield if the most i've ever charted anybody since 2014 i mean just was a fake wide receiver last year but i really don't want to i really don't want to believe cliff kingsbury you know talking about he's going to have a bigger role this year because when's the last time cliff's player usage has been like reliable or good i would argue never from a wide receiver perspective but if he does take over this Christian Kirk role, like I do kind of think Rondo Moore's got some talent. Like he's got some ability to beat zone coverage sort of in those really limited looks. I want to bake in the possibility a little bit that, that he goes into an expanded role because I I'm a little spooked by the thing I said with Debo that I had this assumption that Debo was who he was in 2020. Yep. And I, I should have paid more attention to who he was in 2019 and then I ended up getting burned by that. I should have been higher on Debo last year. So I don't think Rondo – number one, Rondo Moore is not Debo Samuel. He's not going right. to have that type the, of year. The, but. Only, the only part of this, Matt, is he was kind of used this way at Purdue as well. Like he had a yeah, I agree. freshman I season, agree. and then the final two was kind of in the same utilization. Uh, I'm with you. I just want him to play like legit wide receiver stuff, and it's yeah. tough for me – to believe it until I see it. But then we mm-hmm. get this from Jeremy Fowler, I think just yesterday, quote, receiver Rondell Moore is expected to assume the Christian Kirk role, which as we outlined is a vertical slot player compared to the player with the, sh- the shortest a dot in the league last year by three yards working on the inside and the outside last season. Kirk saw many slaps in the slot, but also 23 deep ball targets. I, and then the other part of this, Matt is, <laughs> what happens when Marquise Brown then maybe shifts back to the inside after DeAndre Hopkins comes back from his six-game suspension? Because I think we can all agree, too, right, Hayden, that Marquise Brown's best role is as this vertical slot player. Same. Yeah, yeah I think it's, I think this is important. When Nuke is back in the lineup, if they put Marquise Brown outside as well, is that okay for Marquise Brown to be a wide receiver two, wide receiver three? If they, if they are going to force... Uh, Rondell Moore into the slot that would make Marquise Brown play that flanker position are we comfortable with that because I watched Christian Kirk in 2020 and 2019 go on the outside and couldn't do a single thing in this offense and went into the vertical slot role which I think I have been seeing Marquise Brown do pretty effectively what's your thoughts I definitely think I'd rather see Marquise Brown be a vertical slot receiver. He's a great zone beater I think he's kind of gotten a bad rap uh, through his career because Everybody on fantasy Twitter and football Twitter is in the bag for Lamar Jackson, so it's going to be popular to to bag on the receivers there. Um, But I think Marquise Brown is, like I said, prefer the vertical slot receiver role. I mean, I have this just you know based on his RP profile, just this vision of um, him catching post routes from uh, Kyler Murray, whipping it down the field against zone coverage. But I think he could operate as a flanker too and and be fine in that. They're going to face a lot of zone coverage because Kyler Murray can run and you don't want to play man coverage against a a mobile quarterback. So I think the skill sets still line up. I've been... I've been kind of like in line and fine with consensus on Marquise Brown, but I agree I'd rather see him in the vertical slot role. Rondell's going as wide receiver 53. That's just around names that we've talked about and Jalen Tolbert and Julio Jones, Miko Hardman. It's kind of like this gray area, this confusing area, which I think is a bit fine. He's also Hayden, one of those players that based on what we see in these three preseason games forever, how much, like if he's a legit running seven yard routes, nine yard routes down the field, that will give me a little bit more optimism again, versus seeing so many snaps behind the line of scrimmage and passes and catches behind the line of scrimmage as well. I call that wide receiver tier, draft a running back, auto pick Melvin <laughs> Gordon, get uh, some uh, Isaiah Spiller and Rashad White exposure. And drop down to Devontae Parker and Joshua Palmer, who we have you know, individual clips on the channel about too. 
Hey, slow down. Before you get out of here, be sure to hit subscribe down below. So one, you know, when we post something new on the channel, but two, if you're new here, check out the rest of what we offer. Click one of these things that's all around me right now. Okay. Thanks a lot. See you next time.